Well guys, it finally feels real good to have the car back home. We're just in Richmond past weekend and the car did great. I just want to mention to you guys like eight hours plus of driving with this thing and she did good on the highway, stop and go traffic, temps were all perfect and I'm just super happy the way the car is performing right now. Um, hopefully we can, me and Derek will get a run in soon. I finally got the sticky mickeys back on there. Thank God I didn't drive the car down there all the way on them because we did hit a decent bit of rain on the way back. I mean, it was drizzling and the roads were wet in some spots, but that would have been super sketch. I was on the Rohanas the whole time and those honestly sucked to hook up. The main purpose of today's video is we are changing spoilers. So I do have the Performance Pack 1 with the gurney, the RTR gurney flap. Let me show you guys that real quick. So this was my stock OEM spoiler. Um, I did have it painted gloss black, so this is a fresh paint coat, probably maybe I want to say four months, five months on this paint. Um, it's been waxed a bunch of times and I added the gurney flap on there from RTR. So it looks, it, honestly, it has a good profile. It looks pretty slick. I do like it a lot on the car. For the price, I mean, I'm asking 400 bucks, guys. Like I honestly had so many of you guys hit me up. So it's coming off today. I'm going to post on my Instagram, first come, first serve, guys. If you want it, come get it. But let's jump right into the new spoiler so as you guys can see i went with the newer newer style gt350 actually oem forward spec from cj pony parts and it actually came in this big ass box surprisingly enough and an 18 wheeler pulled up in front of my house and dropped this off on a, a pallet surprisingly but fitment is supposed to be perfect because it has all these factory forward pin lineups and it has the factory like just peel off stick it down so this is going to be super easy to get done all i just gotta not do is drop the bolts in my trunk and i also got the gurney flap with that uh, i'm gonna unbox this in a minute but yeah guys this is what we're jumping onto today get the car ready for mustang week i mean it's already looking good and there really isn't much left i want to do i mean i mean i want to do the hood and like interior stuff like steering wheel seats and cage and stuff but for right now i feel like we just hit a, a nice sweet spot and i don't know let me know if you guys think i should change the color of this intake it's kind of growing on me for some reason. I don't know. Like, it was ugly as hell at first, but now I'm just like, it's just there, and I'm just like, I really don't feel like taking it off. Like, it just looks, it looks good at this point. I don't know. It's weird. Let's get started. Got to get the heat gun. Got to get the trunk popped. Let me jump on this, and I'll pick it back up once I'm, like, ready to rip this thing off. Kind of jumped the gun a little bit, but first thing you guys got to do is pull all these Christmas tree pins. I'm going to show you guys everything right here. So all these, just pull these out. They were all along these dots. And when you kind of do it, you can just slide your hand underneath and pull it out so you don't snap all the clips. And I thought you had to take this off, but I kind of finessed my way around it with this because this was being a pain to come off. So I was like, you know what? You could leave that. Just you kind of got to like move it one way, then get one side over, then do the same thing with the other. And don't forget to get this unclipped because you could rip that out. And pretty much you got to just get to these bolts. There, there, and the one in there. And I don't think there's one in there. I have to check on that, but there's another one right here. So got to get them out and probably going to have to lay the trunk kind of down and lay at an angle so they don't fall in there. And also be careful when you're getting these out also because they're super, super thick. And um, yeah, they were just a pain also too. They're just like rubber. It's kind of cheap, but just yank that sucker out. It'd be good. So let's get some of these bolts out. Um, I'm going to get the sizes, try to figure it out and what sockets to use and what tools. Um, so let's jump right on that. So we will be using a 10 mil. Use a small little impact, something easy, nothing crazy. Um, I already got one bolt out, thank God, because that was a pain. I'm not trying to drop that in there like we did Collins. Um, I got to get a flashlight, honestly, check in there, see if there's bolts. I'm almost positive there isn't. Those are just where the tabs lie in. This is pretty much like a see-through spot. And also those two. I don't know if that's a 10 mil also. Let me just check. Yeah, I would assume they're all 10 mil. So yeah, everything's a 10 mil. Should be super easy, hopefully. The only big thing is, guys, just try not to drop it down in the trunk because you are shit out of luck at that point. So when you do it, kind of have the trunk like this at an angle and like you can kneel down and kind of look up as you're doing it. So the bolt like falls almost right into the like the, like the pocket of the 10 mil socket almost. Total of four bolts, there was actually nothing in there. And these almost feel like they have a little like magnet to them. I don't know why they're, I don't know. That just felt weird. But all I got to do is heat the spoiler up now at the bottom. I don't really know how much adhesive is left on the spoiler because it was taken off and painted. So I don't know how much A plus put back down. I have no clue what's underneath of it at this point. So we're just going to go at it, heat it up a little bit. I'm going to see, I'm going to try to pry on the edges 
because I want it to stay as mint as possible. That's the key. There's that tab right there I was talking about, the same one that's on the OEM one. That's like all OEM Ford spec. Like So like I ordered American Muscle one and they left the box in the driveway and there were, it looked like honestly there was a footprint in it. And I sent it back obviously and then I just ended up ordering this one. But the American Muscle one that I was looking at didn't have this and I'm mistaken that and I was like shit I actually really really want that. Um, this is just a pretty much a lineup guide like if you want to call that just a pin whatever you want to call it. It lines it right up and the other one had like all these kits with screws so like you really don't want that. Let me just show you guys over here on this one. This one I'm talking about right here there's a tab there there's a tab there and a tab there. So those are pretty much just like all your lineup points all the way around on here. Those pretty much just like help it guide it on the way down once you're putting it on the car. So there's not gonna be like, it's not gonna be off by even a centimeter. Like this is pretty much how it'll exactly sit on the GT350. And I'm probably gonna put the wicker bill on today. I'm curious to see how that's gonna look, but this is this is nice because it's OEM Ford spec. And I wanted to get one of these. I was actually gonna order it through the dealer and they wanted like, I think it was like 1800 bucks, Steve told me. But I mean, shit, CJ Pointing Parts is obviously the way to go. And look at the paint on this. Haven't even waxed it yet. This is fresh out of the box, absolutely covered in dust. Doesn't even look dusty on camera, but this thing is actually super dusty. Let's drop the trunk, throw a little bit of heat on this thing, not too much. You guys gotta be cautious of your paint also. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna start getting at this, trying to get as much of that goo off and stuff, and I'll probably pick it back up once it's 100% off. She looks naked, guys. I mean, this looks like, I don't know. I kinda like it, but at the same time, I don't. It looks like one of those bald guys that always wear like a baseball hat and then they take their hat off and you're like, damn, like I didn't know you were bald and they've been wearing a hat for like 15 years. That's like kind of the impression I just got. But it turned out really, really Already got the alcohol, um, pretty much bathed the back of it in alcohol, wiped it down with a dry paper towel. It's all nice and clean, surface is ready to go. Doesn't feel oily at all. It's like super sticky, honestly. Like you can't slide your hand all the way across it, but I don't want to touch it with my hands now. She's ready to go. We have to unwrap the spoiler, get all this plastic and other stuff off it, get all the stuff off the bottom, and she should be ready to go. I might put the heat gun a little bit, heat up all this adhesive underneath right where it is. Once I put it on and I can put some weight on it, it's really, really gonna stick on there super good. She's officially on. Yeah, I just gotta button everything else up, but I'm gonna install the gurney flap. I was just unwrapping it. Actually looks sick. I wanted to show you guys this, so I was just unboxing the gurney flap. And I didn't know that they put a sticker on it like this. It says, racetrack, yes, on the street, no. But I guess um, they don't know we live in Mexico, boys. So we're throwing this bad boy on. It's probably definitely going to slow me down on the big end. But when I go to Pocono and do the half mile, we're going to actually test it to see how legit this is. So we're going to do multiple runs at Pocono. I'm honestly going to run the shit out of this car. As many times I can run it, I'm going to run it. So we're going to do a few, like maybe the first two with the flap. Let the car cool down for a bit. Then I'm going to take the flap off in the pit. Do it again without the flap and see if it actually makes a difference. So we're going to test that. Just, just wait and see. Look who just showed up. This ugly dude. Dang, those are some nice tinted headlights. She sounds all right. She sounds all right. Straight pipe. Yeah, she's straight pipe now, huh? <laughs> My neighbors are like, fuck this guy. It sounds good. Dang, you got all this carbon in here. What do you think, you're a race car now? It's got headers on it. It's oh. got everything. <laughs> back from the gym. What's up G? You looking small. What's up? Well come check out my new spoiler not that eBay special one. Damn they put in a big enough box? <laughs> That's what I said. Well there she is guys that is a wrap. This is pretty much a 2018 up GT350 spoiler. I kind of like the look it's kind of subtle without the gurney flap but with the gurney flap it looks so much meaner from even the front and the back. I thought about um, taking these bolts out and just spray painting them white to maybe cut it up. I don't know, drop a comment, let me know what you guys think about that. I feel like it would look good from the back, but I feel like it'll be like a 10 footer at that point, obviously, but came out good. I accidentally scratched the shit out of it right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Oh yeah, right there. There was some dirt on it and I wiped it with the rag real fast and scuffed it. But good thing my guy's coming to Strand coat the car soon, right before Mustang week. And we're trying to get Colin's car right for Mustang week. It is coming up fast, guys. So if you are going to Mustang week, I'm definitely going to see you guys there. I'm selling 200 shirts. There's two different styles, so 100 of each. They're probably going to go fast. I'm not gonna lie after all my friends buy them and a lot, a lot of people I know already DM me. I'm, it's probably at a solid 50 right now. I'm giving away my strut tire brace on the car. Um, that used to be there. I'm gonna be raffling that off at the end of the week, so it's gonna be sick. 
I can't wait to see you guys down there at Mustang Week and hopefully everything goes smooth. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video install of just button up the spoiler and changing it. It looks aggressive. I, I seriously do like it. And if you guys actually want the other one, the um, the stock performance pack one with the RTR granny flap, just drop a comment. Let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, Italian410, same as YouTube guys. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.